Family Feud, celebrating 10 years of Kubernetes. I'm your host, Tim Hawken. This is referee Rag Srinivas. We don't get a whole lot of time on the stage today, so let's get started. Starting on my left, we have Team YAML. We have Surya Sitharaman. Surya is a principal software engineer working on OpenShift networking at Red Hat and a contributor to SIG Network. Let's give it up for Surya. Next up is Muhammad Ali. Muhammad is a senior DevOps engineer at Thousand Eyes by Cisco and is a Kubernetes and Knative maintainer. Next up is Bridget Cromhow. Bridget works in upstream open source at Microsoft Azure. She's a co-chair of SIG Cloud Provider and a fan of snow, bicycles, and cats. And last up is Justin Santa Barbara. Justin was one of our first independent contri uh, contributors on Kubernetes, now works for Google on GKE, and hopes not to be demoted to independent contributor again. <laughs> team YAML, who's going to be your team captain? Mohammed. Next up on my right, we have Team Jason. Starting, we have Lucy Sweet. Lucy is an engineer from Denmark who enjoys flying planes and pretending to know how Kubernetes works. Next up is Madhav Jivrajani. Madhav is a technical lead for SIG ContribX, a contributor to SIG's API machinery and etcd, and a grad student at UIUC. Next up is Tessa Pham. Tessa is a senior software engineer in the inference platform at Bloomberg and an active contributor on the KServe project. And last but not least, Ricardo Katz. Ricardo is a contributor on SIG Network and maintainer of the Ingress Nginx project. He loves Lego and hates make files. Team Jason, who's your captain? Madhav, congratulations. Let's do a quick breakdown of the rules. We've surveyed our community for their opinions on some very important Kubernetes topics. Our game today is to guess their answers. Each round, I will ask our contestants one of those questions. The first team to buzz in gets a shot at guessing the answer. If you guess wrong, or you take too long, you'll hear this sound, Rags. <laughs> Whichever team's answer scores higher gets control of the board. If they strike out three times, the other team gets a chance to steal all the points. Whichever team has the most points at the end of our game wins the right to call themselves champions of KubeCon Family Feud. Got all that? Let's go. Teams, a reminder, don't buzz in until I finished reading the questions. Otherwise, I'm gonna blow the whistle. Oh, don't blow the whistle. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. All right, let's get our team captains. Come on down, Rags, start round one. All right. On the board are the top four answers to this question. Name an error you might see in Kubernetes. Rags, who won our buzz off? I got Muhammad uh, at uh, 35 milliseconds. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Crash loop back off. Crash loop back off. It's a good one. Rags, show me crash loop back off. Number one answer. Correct. Oh, our buzz off is done. Team YAML wins the day. Surya, tell me an error you might see in Kubernetes. Image pull back off. Image pull back off. Rags, show me image. Oh, oh look oh. at that. 20 points. Bridget. Tell me an error you might see in Kubernetes. Lots of pressure. So much pressure. Let's say, uh... <laughs> Clock is running. What? Out of memory error Out in my of head. memory. Rag, show me OOM. <laughs> oh, look at you guys cleaning the board. Justin, don't no screw more. it up. What is an error you might get from Kubernetes? No node available. No nodes available. Rags, show me no nodes. Um, hold on. Lost your button? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no ref available. <laughs> oh, no good. All right, let's go back. Mohammed, with one strike on the board, give me an error you might see in Kubernetes. Uh, missing config map or secrets. Missing config map or secrets. Mm -hmm. Show me config map or secrets. Mm. No, no good. Surya, last chance, no pressure. Give me an error you might see in Kubernetes. Resource not found. Resource not found. Rags, show me resource not found. Mm. No, <laughs> you blew it. <laughs> Team JSON has a chance to steal. One chance, confer amongst yourselves. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Let's get to the board. Yeah, sure. 
Unschedulable pods. Unschedulable pods. Rags, show me unschedulable. Mm. No! What was the final answer, Rags? Context uh -oh. deadline exceeded. <laughs> oh. Rags, Team Yamel gets all those points. Exceeded. Let's move on to <laughs> round two. Who, who gets the points? Team Yamel, so you're right. right. By the way, thank you. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> I was not able to answer. All right. Round two, Surya and Lucy, come on up. Are you ready? Hands on the buzzer. Don't buzz until I finish the question. On the board are the top five answers to the following question. What is the biggest risk to Kubernetes and cloud native? Who won our buzz off? We got Surya at uh, 81 milliseconds. Surya wins for Team YAML. Give me a risk to Kubernetes or cloud native. An earthquake in Sunnyvale. An, earth <laughs> An earthquake in Sunnyvale takes out a number of tech companies. Rags, show me earthquakes. What was it? Earthquakes. Earthquakes? An earthquake. OK. <laughs> show me earthquake. OK. Oh, I'm sorry. Lucy. Uh, how goddamn complex it is. <laughs> complexity. Rags, show me complexity. Yes, that wins, and Team Jason takes the round. Let's go. All right, I'm going to start with Tessa. I think that was Tell cool. me, what is the biggest risk to Kubernetes and cloud native? The GPU shortage. GPU shortage. Rags, show me <laughs> GPU shortages. GPU shortage. No, no, what? that did not make our board. Ricardo, what is the biggest risk to Kubernetes and cloud native? CVEs. Ooh, very good answer. CVEs, rigs. Show me security or CVEs. Mm. Oh, no good. <laughs> Madhav, your yeah. chance. Mm. What is the biggest risk to Kubernetes and cloud native? Lack of agility. Lack of agility. Mm, rags, show me agility or lack of innovation. Lack of Innovation, I was going to go there. There we go. Number one answer on the board. Lack of innovation. Great. Lucy, you're up. Uh, lack of maintainers. Lack of maintainers. Good answer. Good answer. Yep. Correct. That is uh, eight points. Tessa, what is the biggest risk to Kubernetes and cloud native? You guys are running the board. But you have two strikes. No, no pressure. pressure. <laughs> Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Lack of visibility. Lack of visibility. Rags, show me visibility. Lack of visibility. Um, they're Team Yama, right? Yes. No, no good. How do we have two strikes on both teams? <laughs> oh, they're Team Jason. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The other team gets a chance to steal. All right, guys, confer amongst yourselves. You got three seconds. What is the biggest right. risk to Kubernetes and cloud native? Cost. Cost. Still cost. Costs. Costs. Rags, show me, show me costs. And they're Team YAML. They right? are Team YAML. <laughs> no, that's no good. Team JSON gets all the points for this round. Congratulations. Show me number three. That's amazing. All right. The number three answer from our community was. What? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, you went to the next fine. round. It's fine. <laughs> number three was cloud providers oh, or sorry. lock in. Yeah. Sorry. Number four was AI. Ooh. And we got all the rest, right? Yes. All right. Next round three, Tessa, Bridget, come on down. Right. <laughs> on the board are the top four answers to the following question. How do you pronounce the name of the Kubernetes command line tool? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew it was coming? Who knew our buzz off? Who Bridget. won our buzz off? Bridget got it. Bridget won again. All right, team Yammer. Okay. Right. Should I just kind of move it to It's Tessa? fine. They, she won legit. Yes. The, the Fair and square, how do you pronounce the name of the command line tool? The correct answer is cubectal. Cubectal. Because... Oh, no. <laughs> Rags, show me cubectal. Cubectal? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Cubectal is not it. on the board. <laughs> Tessa, how do you pronounce the name of the Kubernetes command line tool? Cubectal. Cubectal. Cube or cube? Mm. Coop cuddle. <laughs> Coop cuddle. Show me Coop cuddle. I'll go. Cube cuddle is up on the board. Correct. Although then, okay. Good. Hey, Team right. Jason wins the round. Moving forward. Who's up? Ricardo. Ricardo. How do you pronounce 
the Kubernetes command line tool. The only right way to pronounce it is kubectl. Kubectl. Oh. <laughs> Ricardo, get off my stage. Sorry. <laughs> right, show me. Oh, it is, in fact, the top answer. See, we have to guess what our community would say, not the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Madhav, how do you pronounce the name of the Kubernetes command line tool? There are at least four answers. Oh, wow. OK. <laughs> cube cuddle really fast. Cube cuddle? Yeah. All right, show me cube cuddle. Cube cuddle. We messed it up before. Let's go. Show me cube cuddle. So since I messed it up, I'm going to give you this. There we go. Uh, that's, that's fine. That's you got the points. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Last chance. Lucy, how do you pronounce the name of the command line? But all the marbles. Cube cub cuddle. Cud cuddle. Cud We'll cuddle and cuddle we merge together. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, cube CTL. Cube CTL. Show me Cube CTL. Oh. That's Team Jason. That's Team Jason. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tessa gets another shot. There's only one answer. One answer left. How do you pronounce the name of the command line tool? Cube control. Cube control, Rags. Show me control. Yes! In fact, Team Jason wins all the points for this round. Congratulations to Team Jason. Look at that score dominating the board. Round four. I don't know how much time we have left, so we're just going to keep going. Round four, Justin <laughs> and Ricardo. Buzzers ready? Oh. <laughs> On the board are the top six answers to the following question. What is the best feature in Kubernetes? Wow, Justin got it in 29 milliseconds. Ricardo was right behind. Oh, right. <laughs> Justin, first shot. What is the best feature in Kubernetes? I'm going to go with watch. 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 The watch API. Show me watch. Watch API. OK. And they are Team Yama. No, that is not on the board, <laughs> Ricardo. Best feature of Kubernetes. Obviously, ingress controllers. Ingress is the best feature of Kubernetes. <laughs> Show me ingress. Well, team JSON, right? No, 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 no strikes here. We don't need to accumulate these. This is just the, the strike, the regular strike. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> here we go. Back to Justin. We the best feature of Kubernetes. Come on. Uh, cluster autoscaler. Cluster autoscaler or autoscaling. Rags, show me something about autoscaling. <laughs> yes, in <laughs> fact, five points. All right. Justin, uh, Team YAML takes the control. We're starting off at Muhammad now. What is the best feature in Kubernetes? Uh, CRDs. CRDs, custom resource definitions. Rags, show me custom resource definitions. Yes. 19 points. Surya. What is the best feature in Kubernetes? Pods. Pods. Show me pods, Rag. Pods, as basic as that. As simple as that. Pods. Is it on the board? Sure. Yes, it is on the board. Congratulations. Bridget, no pressure. What is the best feature in Kubernetes? Services. Services. <laughs> I disagree, <laughs> but let's go with it. Services. No, I'm sorry, services did not make the list. Justin, what is the best feature in Kubernetes? Well, I've had a rough run so far. I'm going to go with the community. The community. Wow. Aww. <laughs> I did not feed him that answer. And it is, in fact, on the board. Congratulations. Next up, back to Mohammed. Mohammed, another chance. What is the best feature in Kubernetes? Maybe the control plane? The control plane. All right, show me control plane. He's a genius. Oh, I think he's peeking at my cards. <laughs> Surya, last, last answer on the board. What is the best feature in Kubernetes? Restart, self-healing, auto-healing. Self-healing, declarative yeah. configuration, controllers. What are you, where are you going with this? <laughs> All of the things. <laughs> this is not who wants to be a millionaire, but thank you. <laughs> we'll save that for next year. Quick, quick, an answer. Auto healing. Auto healing. Rags, auto -healing. show me auto healing. Well. No, I'm sorry. So close. Bridget, 
The last answer, oh, you got three strikes. Three I'm strikes. sorry, three oh, strikes. oh, it's a chance for Team Jason to steal the board. Who is up next? As much as you guys confer? Yep. Just one last answer. Load balancing. Ooh, load balancing. Good answer. All right, show me load balancing. No, the Shrag, show me number three. The final answer was controllers and declarative. I tried to feed it to you, but you didn't bite. <laughs> so nobody gets the points. No, uh, Team Yamel gets all the points because the oh, steal because failed. Yeah. That's right. All right, round five. This may be our last round. Let's start again. Mohammed and Madav, come down. All right, ready? Uh, I'm not ready, one second. Right. Load up, ready? On the board, the top five answers to the following question. Name a barrier of adoption to Kubernetes that has largely been overcome. Go. Who won? I got, I got Madhav. Madhav! Barrier to adoption that has been overcome. Oh, stability. Stability, Rags, show me stability, reliability, Yes, in fact, reliability is on the board. Mohammed, try to beat 10 points. AI. AI. <laughs> and that's... No, no, no AI. Sorry, we'll take it over to Team Jason. All right, Lucy, name a barrier to adoption that has been overcome. Lack of features. Lack of features, feature completeness. Show me features. No, in fact, we have plenty of features, thanks. <laughs> Tessa, a barrier to adoption that has been overcome. Complexity. Complexity. Rags, show me complexity. Have we overcome complexity? Have we overcome it? <laughs> uh... Our community says no, unfortunately. <laughs> Name a barrier to adoption that has been overcome. Networking. Networking. Ooh. Networking. Show me networking. No, no good. The steal. Oh, sorry, we was a steal, right? I blew it. No, I know that's fine. But oh no, we're still playing. I'm you're sorry. still playing. I got, I got confused. But it, you are networking, and I, yes, I'm sorry. Networking <laughs> either was not a problem or has, has not been overcome. Either, either interpretation <laughs> is valid. Madhav, show me a barrier of adoption that has been overcome. Hmm. Infrastructure being the bottleneck. In infrastructure, what, uh, are you sure? Show me infrastructure and the board. Okay, I'm gonna go with this, cloud provider support. Cloud provider support, yes, I will take that answer, very good. Do we really have three strikes? I've lost count. <laughs> okay, one more then. Lucy, give me a barrier to adoption that has been overcome. Documentation, and shout out all my six docs people, you're great. Documentation with a big shout out to Sig Docs. Documentation, yes, correct. All right, Tessa, next chance. Barrier to adoption that has been overcome. Security. Security, Rags, show me security. No, All security. Right. So we gave them four strikes. Oh yes, that strikes, you're done, you're done. Yeah. You're cooked. Scalability. Scalability, your answer is scalability. Rags, show me scalability. No, I'm sorry, team. Jason wins those points. And I think we're getting the uh, get the heck off the stage signal. So Tell we're going to wrap it up. Tell us the oh, sorry, yes, let's show the answer. Okay, what is number answer. one? Nope, what'd you do? Oh. <laughs> number one, show me number one. Cluster life cycle has been largely overcome. C congratulations to those folks. Number three. Hiring. Congratulations, we are getting kicked off the stage. So our winners today, Team Jason. Congratulations to Team Jason. You get to call yourselves the KubeCon Family Feud champions. For anybody who wants to play our game at home, they're gonna put up a slide right here. You can go to this URL and you can set up your own game and you can play. We have a short version and a long version. Have fun, don't crash my server. I hope you all had a great time today. Let's give a special round of applause to our contestants and referee Rags up here doing all the hard work. I'd also like to give a special shout out thanks to Josh Cold who wrote the application that we're using today. He helped us out tremendously, even wrote features for us. 
and he published it on GitHub with a Helm chart. Today's game is in fact running on a Kubernetes 131 cluster, because of course it is. Thank you, everybody. Have an awesome last day of KubeCon! Hooray!